Okay, so here we are in lesson four or tutorial four of our um, GUI Hangman series. Um, so far, we have created our um, GUI. We, we created that from a PyQt um, file. We have created the data store and we have in the controller so far, we've created the variables required and we have also initialized the GUI with the initial values. So what do we need to do um so this is the next stage of making it interactive at the moment i can click on everything here and nothing will happen because i haven't given any instructions now i brought this up to give you an idea of a concept in pyqt called signals and slots so every time i interact with these are all called widgets each button's a widget every item is a widget whenever i interact with a widget in qt it sends a signal back to the ui or back to the controller saying this button has been pressed or this thing has happened this event has happened um in this case i'm using the mouse but i could use the keyboard a whole range of different things but that is called a signal and then what you do back in the main program is you use that signal to run a function. So you say when this particular event happens, when we get this signal, run this function. And the function that you run is called a slot. So coming back to our main program here that we had. And remember we had these down here, the values, signals and slots. So signals is where we put the information in here of these are the signals you're listening for and you're hearing for. And when you hear this particular event, when you get this particular signal, you then run a function. And those functions we're going to place under this line here in the slots section. So the first thing we're going to do is the simplest. We always start with the simplest is we are going to use, um, we're going to make the quit button close because at the moment it doesn't actually close. So what do I need to do to make that happen? So first off, I need to come into our signals. I get rid of the pass, which is just a little placeholder, which is useful when you want to build your structure up. Um, and then I'm going to be talking about, because this is where all the actual signals are going to go in. I'm just going to be talking about the control buttons here. Okay, so what am I looking for? Self, I'm looking for this main windows and this UI in the main window. So self.ui. Dot. Now, the actual button, you can see these are all the different widgets that are actually in our UI. So I'll scroll down, and the one that I want is the quit button, which is just there it is quit button. Bang. So, UI.quit button, and what am I listening for? I am listening for that it is clicked. So, when the quick, um, when the quit button is clicked, what I want it to do is I want it to um connect and i want to connect to and i've got to go up and, and import this but i want to connect to a built-in function within um with in pyqt which is the instance quit which actually just closes the window so that's core application actually dot instance dot quit now if you want to know what all those different values are and all these different possible methods are that exist you can actually go to the qt um, docu um, documents online and find out what those are now i've got a figure line down here which tells me my core applications hasn't been imported so i need to import those from up here so i say from pyqt six um Qt core import core application. Right here. So let's see the core application. Is it happy in yep? It's not complaining. So I've now got the signal. The signal is going to be this. I've said this is a function I want you to run, which is a default function. Really important. This function hasn't got the open close brackets at the end here. Um, if I did have that, when I ran the program, it would automatically, as soon as it ran through signals, it would automatically call that program without waiting for the signal to come through. So whenever you've got um, a function that you put within here, you need to make sure you haven't got the open close brackets at the end. Um, otherwise, it will not work properly. Um, so making sure that's all right now. Got that there, and there's one other thing now, is now I've got the signals, I need to actually run that function as well at the very end here. 
This is our last initialization part. So I'm running signals. So it's all been loaded up and it's ready to start listening. So if I click on here and if I run, this pops up. If I click on everything else, nothing happens because I haven't got signals yet. Click on here, quit, it quits. So there, we've done one. We've actually got one level of interactivity. Not a great level of interactivity. It just basically means that you lose, you close your window. That's great. But it gives an idea of the concept. The next one we're going to be dealing with is the new word button. And the new word button is going to be a bit further because we're actually going to create our own slot instead of using a built-in function. So let's have a look here. I need to go self.ui. Now, which one is this? This is new word. Let's have a scroll. Actually, just start, start typing new word. New word button is there. Fantastic. So I want to go connect. Uh, connect. No, sorry, I want to get clicked. Dot connect. And now what do I want to connect to? Well, at the moment I, I can't connect to anything because I haven't got an actual function down here for news world. But I'm going to call that function new world, new word button. Okay, so in there I'm going to say it's self because it's a function within this particular object um, and go new word button which is my abbreviation for button okay cool so now my slots i get to make my first slot which is new word button and i gonna make sure i've got a self in there and enter and i'm just going to cut and paste copy and paste the code in to save you from my horrible typing Right, so it chooses a new word and then resets the UI. So remember, the new word is, is set up there um, and it's, it's ready to go. But then um, what we're doing is we're choosing the new word. We go through, we, we want to actually display a new word. We want to reset the gallows. So you want to make um, them back to zero. And then, well, let's see. So new word button, we're going to choose a new world, we're going to, going to display the guesses, which is what we did when we initialized, we're then going to set misses back to zero, and then we're going to um, display the gallows. So that's why those two functions, because we use, or these three functions, which are down, which are up here, that's why I put them in separate, as opposed to just put them inside the init, because it means that I can call it at later times. Rightio, so the slots are already in there, the signals are there, it's ready to go. Let's run and see what happens. So I'm up here, new word, let's go. Hey, it's got a different number of, of, of dashes. That means it is getting a new word. So there we are. We have done our first lots of, um, of signals and slots. And now we are going to, or next lesson, or next video, we're gonna go through and say, well, okay, what do we do for the letters? Because that's getting a little bit more complicated now. But there we are, that's the end of that um, tutorial. Thank you.